On this episode of Pit My Setup, I'm going to be talking about your setups you submit for tips, tricks, feedback, and much more. So if you're interested in that, then sit back, relax, and interact, because the show starts now. It's time for the Original Setup Show, dedicated to providing you with tips, tricks, and feedback to pimp out your setup. Hosted by Matt Philly with new special guests every week. Coming at you live in 3, 2, 1. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Pit My Setup, episode number 188, recorded live on February 5th, 2017. My name is Matt Philly. You can find me on Twitter at Matt Philly. And as always, we are joined by producer Tom. Guys, Super Bowl Sunday, Patriots or Falcons? Man, I don't know. I don't... <laughs> oh, 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 what's that? Oh, my bad. <laughs> no, really, I don't know. I think they all deserve uh, the trophy. You see, no. Eli gets to share it with Larry Fitzgerald for the uh, man of the year. So why not just give everyone a trophy? There is multiple man, man of the year. Men, yeah, men of the year. Um, really, though, participation trophies. Like, everyone seems to get one nowadays. Anyways... Okay, uh, let's let's kind of go over some stuff real quick. We are booked up to like episode 300 now, so it's way more than 100 episodes in advance. Please get your setup in now. Park it with just a good photo. It's got to be a good photo. You send it in, Tom will be like, <laughs> all right, and then give you an episode number, and then guess what? You can update it as we go on. We will eventually start, hopefully, kind of like combining episodes again. We did it before. We'll try to do it again and get through as quick as possible, but you have to understand there's a lot of people that, for some reason, want my advice, so <laughs> that's weird, right? Uh, um, but yeah, Fast Passes, we have three today. We appreciate it. It's a great way to support us. Uh, PayMyStuff.com slash Q, all the information you need is right there. Now, the other thing you should know, today marks a year of the Discord server, discord.gg slash Matt. We're always on there. Uh, go on over. If you subscribe to Twitch, which we already got like two, ten, 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 ten new subscribers today, which is awesome. If you subscribe and you link it to the Discord account, you will get a special rank and roll. It's just, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and then also... We have Setup Addicts, the Facebook group, 21,000 members. Head on over there, setupaddicts.com, and blah, blah. You know, everything else is in the description. But uh, thank you so much for the continued support. We do appreciate it. But what do you say we get into the first setup, Tom? Let's do it. All right. We got Nuno. He's 24 years old, and uh, he didn't see and say anything. And also, his whole email was in Spanish. So uh, kind of, you know, going back to middle school trying to, you know, translate it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this setup is just gorgeous. Oh, God. Uh, I mean, I think, honestly, my favorite part of it at first glance is the right side. And he's got the pop vinyls. And all the like old hardware and everything displayed like that is such a sick display, absolutely unique, and and that's what I like. I I think a lot of things about this setup are unique, but as much as I want to give this a hundred because you know it's got a lot of cool stuff, there's a lot that I would like to see fixed. I would like to see sort of uh, an explanation behind certain things. So the first thing is of course the monitors. You know. They are as flat as uh, some people think the Earth is. I mean, uh, get it? Because the Earth is right there. Tom gets it. Cause, okay. Uh, really, though, I think that they're just a little too flat. I mean, that looks like a surfboard. You throw it in, and you're going to get some nice waves. But uh, I would assume you'd want a little bit of an angle just for the best sort of viewing angle. Uh, but then also, you know how I always say, like, bezels better than your mom, which I guess is still applicable here. But uh, if your mom was, like, you know, three inches tall, because this is uh, TV half the size of your mom. Uh, really, it's just super small. I do see, like, a bed in the bottom right corner. I would assume that's, like, the sheets, um, at least. And based on that, I would think while he's in bed, he could watch the TV. With but a the, magnifying yeah, stick. Bro, I was going to say, you need like a magnifying glass. You need like binoculars or something. Uh, you'd probably be better off just watching off your two displays. So, uh, honestly, I would like to see the TV kind of like, like make it bigger. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I love just what he's going for. The, the background behind the monitors looks awesome. He's got... Uh, tons of stuff. The left side, the drawers are all very organized. Really, really nice. The Steel Series uh, banner over there is actually pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if he's got like you know some fat checks coming in from there or what, or what's going on, but uh, it, it's just it's really nice. The little storage bin on the the side that's blue. You know, it looks like it got a lot of drawers. The thing is, I don't know if you uh, see what I'm seeing, Tom, but in the second photo specifically, if you look at the computer, which may I add is 
quite sexual. Uh, does it look like the, the the side panel's missing? It's not on there. Yeah, where did where did it go? I don't know if like for the photo to kill a reflection. Probably um, because I don't know if the light reflects on him. He melts because he doesn't want us to see his face or something. <laughs> but uh, from what I can see. You don't have it, so I would just I would assume it's somewhere else, and you did it for the photo. But your cable management is god. Oh, mm, that is nice. That is just very very nice. So someone used a good joke in chat. They said, "What on earth is this setup?" <laughs> Got him. Uh, but Tom, you look at this. You, you you think it's awesome, but what's next? How do you fix this? I think the the cabinet, like the drawers on top, are like completely not usable in any way, shape, or form. I yeah. don't know how tall he is, but mm -hmm. I feel like if you want to grab something from that, it just it seems like such a hassle. Like they're so high up. Maybe, you know, you just brought up a good point because maybe he's tall enough to where when he's standing up, he's actually looking dead on, on at a, that TV. Maybe, maybe yeah. seven foot eight. And we he's don't just know. yeah, he's got the giraffe neck going on. He's just pulling open the drawers and stuff. Um, really, it, it does seem. I think it's also kind of an eyesore. Uh, you remove those two white cabinets, you get a big TV, and I think you're, you're in there. And you yeah, just fix the monitors. If they're holding stuff inside it, maybe you just get like floating shelves in yeah. that spot, the same exact spot, same length and all that, and mm -hmm. just put like the stuff on there. Yeah, I I think it's a it's a wonderful idea. Um, but yeah, you have anything else you want to say about it? No, it's a really nice setup. I like the the faint like LEDs. Like it doesn't yeah. it's not over the top. It's like a nice little faint like purplish. It's color. a very nice combination very nice. of colors. Yeah, I like, yeah, like it. purple and blue kind of go well together. Yeah, hand in, in hand. They're, they're sisters. Yeah, or brothers. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> make it on to the next setup. Why do I say make it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything today. Submitted by Patrick. He's 16. He does YouTube. Check him out. Patty underscore Y. And uh, why did you do this? the tier setup. No, I'm just kidding. I'm really bad with jokes today, but um, honestly, this is a uh, interesting setup, but I think it's not being utilized to its full potential. It, it, it's a super easy fix in the setup. The desk is perfect for what you're going for. A lot of room, nice and curved. You don't have to break your rib cage sitting up against it. But look at the sheer usability. Uh, you know, the, the PlayStation, the speaker arrangement is, is not ideal. Uh, I'm actually trying to... Okay, the left one is completely blocked on the left side. You know, the mixer, the Astro mix amp, all those different things it, it being completely blocked. Is that... How many speakers does he have? Because he's got center, right, left. And then I see another one in between the middle of the two monitors. So is he going for rear speakers attached he to He just the, didn't know where to put any of them, so he just it, threw them wherever. That's confusing. I mean, when you have G Fuel, you know, use code Keem for 10% uh, off or some shit. But uh, that's kind of when it goes down here, you know what I'm saying? But really... Uh, you got controller stands, got a lot of cool accessories. You even got the, the fat ass PlayStation 3 up in there. So I don't know how you fit that on your yeah. monitor, but I mean, that thing has got a booty, let me just say. Um, you know, the. What the hell? Is the computer upside down? It looks weird. Bro, it? it's up. The, at least. No, the, the motherboard's like there's... upside down because the cooler's at the bottom and the. There's stands on Why the bottom. Why is it upside so down? That's just weird. It's probably his first time doing it. Yeah, he's like, oh, shit. And he's like, I'm not fixing that. Screw that. Uh, that is... W I did not notice that at first. <laughs> I just was like, XTG Evorger. It, that's, a, that's a new one. Oh, it's yeah. It's the new one from NVIDIA. That's nice. Uh, very interesting. It, it's... Uh, it's an inverted hey, case. If it works. You know. Everyone's saying inverted. I mean, hey, if that's what you're going for... Then, uh, well, maybe hey. he does pull ups for, uh, from upside down so that when he oh, watches it, he can look at his that's, computer. Yeah, that's that's it. Um, but I was thinking, like, the PC should probably go off to the left, or if you're gonna get the PC there, you gotta utilize the section off to the left for your consoles or something. Because, first off, that just looks very not like a usable spot, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's just like, why even have that? So, you kind of figure out the utilization of your consoles and stuff, kind of clean it up, make a little bit of breathing room, you know, put the blade away, dog. No, I'm just kidding. I think the blade's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but it looks like he's in sort of like a college setup, even though he's not, because it, it's, I mean, if he had, if he mounted a blade to the wall and they came in to do like an inspection, they're like, is that a blade? It's like, Sorry, yeah. Martial arts, that's all. Yeah, they're like, you're going to have to get out of here, buddy. Uh, but yeah, everyone's saying it's an inverted case. I already said it. Leave me alone, dog. Uh, but really, it's a huge room, a lot of under space. You know, the obviously the cables, that's a problem. Um, you have a lot of cool stuff, man. You just got to utilize it right. Again, speakers, 
fix the just the overall usability of the monitors, all that. Fix the PC location, move the consoles over, kind of like put the G Fuel away. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you got to do, homie. Uh, I don't know, guys in the chat. I want to know sticker bomb the dresser, the drawers. Yay or nay, Tom? Yay or nay? That's eh, fine. That, it's that I said there. yay or nay, not eh. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, like, like, okay. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, um, interesting setup, though. Really, really interesting. This next one, though, is submitted by Josh. He's 14, uses setup for gaming and YouTube. And <clears throat> I was like, I don't know. This is really going to be specific. And it's it's a it's a memory that me and Tom have. You remember Magic Quest? Yeah. Bro, Those that walls. looks like that looks like the actual wall paper that they used at Magic Quest. If you guys are not familiar with magic quest not only was it a highlight of our childhood uh whenever we went to myrtle beach awesome place and they even have it at great wolf lodge which i would love to go to <laughs> if no one else was there <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and i didn't have to take off my shirt uh but it is like a, it reminds me of like a dungeons and dragons sort of feel yeah. Yeah. you know very very interesting so again Yay or nay in the chat. You like it? You hate it? Does it match? Does it look out of place? Tom, yay or nay? I like it. You like it? I like it. I, I mean, can see you doing that in your own room. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but at the same time, I like. I probably would even do that. But I it just, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's hard. I, my, the desk my doesn't of, really work with it. Yeah. My point of view is the setup doesn't match it. It looks yeah. like a dope wallpaper, but does it really fit the setup? Uh, surprisingly, everyone loves it yeah see you that. see what that hell? that is not what i expected at all uh but okay you guys like the wallpaper but here's a new question in chat yay or nay does it match the setup that's what i would like to know uh i think like someone said if the case and the desk and everything matched that whole theme oh my god that would be insane but it's like it looks like he's in the corner of a huge empty room and there's like nothing going on you know the speakers Mo like and they're very very close to the monitor PC like it just doesn't fit the room it does and yeah everyone kind of uh, like agrees with me yeah. it, it's not what I was expecting um, but I think this is like a hard one to critique right because it's just an empty room with literally the bare minimum essentials on the desktop itself uh, if you go to the third photo you can see the cable management now I say this all the time very confusing to me when you have a back panel like that and you're going to do the cable management on the side that's visible. Yes, it is easy to go plug it in, unplug, so on and so forth. But you can do it behind and you don't see anything and it would look a lot nicer. So uh, not the end of the world. It's still managed. You still got a great score in cable management, but that's something I would say. And of course, if you go to the previous photo and you look in the bottom right corner, we're going to see those cables running on the right side. Uh, so again, if you want to take it to the next level, the one on the bottom is, is fine. Uh, but you know, the black one doesn't go with the molding. So nitpicking, it, it's just such a simple setup. There's nothing really to say. Like, what do you say about this, Tom? What do you, what do you do? I don't think you add anything to the brick wall. I think maybe add posters or something, some personality on the other wall. That's not brick. Uh huh. Um, it's I don't want to put stuff on the brick wall. Cause I think that would ruin the, the, the coolness illusion. of it. Yeah. But yeah, it's very, very simple. There's really nothing to it. Yeah, I think you got to add a little bit. Outside mm -hmm. out of mind, as I always say, doesn't mean have nothing on the desk. It means only have the things that you use on a daily basis. Like, where are your headphones? Uh, do you have, uh, you know, things I always say, headphone stand, of course, but phone stand. You get just a little bit of personality. We're not seeing too much. So, flow with the theme, pretty dope. I like it, but uh, we got to see a bit more from you in the future. Now, next setup, this was... The original setup from a guy named Richard. He's 23. He likes football, computers, gaming, and movies. And he always wanted like a badass setup. And he had this. And he's like, yeah, it's pretty dope. Like, I like it. It's good. It's nice. But then he's like, hey, guess what? Uh, bam! Damn! Son! Rip headphone users. Um, but holy balls in somebody's mouth. Now that's a setup, dog. You may remember it uh, from, which by the way, oh my God, that case. That is a sexy case, beautiful build. Um, but you may remember this from Setup Spotlight. This, oh, oh I'm having a heart attack. Oh God, it's a good setup. Oh man, I just, I love it. I, I think that this is everything, everything a person needs in life. 
you know, guess what? Girlfriend just left you. Don't care, bitch. I got a dope ass room. Oh, God. It's just so nice. Now, here's the craziest part, right? You would think you'd, you'd do this and you'd, you'd just be done, right? You're like, I got what I need. He said he's working on a complete new setup hmm. in his recent email. Isn't that weird? I'd be content with this. I'd be content, you know? You just kind of have to chill sometimes. But, yeah, I mean, he's working on a new setup, and he will be submitting it eventually. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth on this one. I think it kind of paints a picture of uh, everything, you know? Yeah, you could say theme is not super in your face. Uh, he's got the, the art above, the stuff in the corner. My main problem was mainly the printer piece, uh, if you look in the first photo. Yeah, I didn't like how that... It doesn't look right and at the angle. I know it's hiding cables and stuff, but it just seems like kind of out of place and, and weird, uh, especially if you sit in a desk and you like kind of go back a little too much and all of a sudden, bam, right into the printer. Um, you know, it is a small room. That, that's the reality of it. But I think he did a great job. Um, very awesome, unique setup. What do you, how do you feel about it, Tom? I like the two-toned LED colors with the red and then up to purple. I don't know if that's, that was like the LED strips on top of the monitor where mm. it went off with the purple, but I like the two-tone kind of look to it. I, and I like, it's like red, but then there's multiple colors with the posters and all that. Yeah. So it's no like specific theme, but it still looks really badass. Yeah. Well, the thing is a lot of people are saying, why the purple? The, I think it's a simple thing. You don't want to go too heavy into black and red. It's overdone. And honestly, it it wouldn't black and red wouldn't really be a great theme in a room where everything's white, like a beige wool. That's why he's got the color in the art. I think it's a great combination. Like Tom said, it just works. It's not over the top. It's not in your face. It's just a very clean setup. And I think I I need to emphasize that it's clean. Headphone stand, things mounted underneath. Cable management is great. Usability, out of sight, out of mind. It's just a wonderful setup, uh, and a lot of people can learn from this so again that case is just oh god anyways moving on next setup submitted by pia who's 23 now she, this was her setup on episode number number that episode number 95 you may remember she's a graphic designer and a student into soccer photography gaming and of course design uh she's picked up a new keyboard mouse pad posters chair linmon tabletops and much more so just keep this in your head right uh and before we get to that she also plans on building a pc soon for people wondering and she also said she has plenty of leg room she either has her legs on both sides or on top of the box and she also gave a shout out to you tom for your great producing work so thank you pia yeah so good job tom and she was on set of spotlight too, she was so also on set of spotlight this is the new one ready yeah yeah boom hey damn back to back back to back really i mean this is just this is just uh, an example of literally like uh, an amazing setup wonderful like the things that i complained about she fixed literally you look back at the first photo i said i love the desk it works perfectly but it, it looks kind of like lonely you know you want to get that full usability and you, you know the, i thought the theme was good but like maybe like a little a little poster a little pop you go to the next photo and she's like okay here's the poster here's the extra lemon tabletop you know i even think that the uh the new drawer shelf thing off to the right side uh where her ch- like next to her chair yeah. which by the way the chair is new and looks awesome but that's like the perfect separation it, it just it's an insanely nice setup um I'm really, I'm a huge fan. And of course, if you go to the third photo, this is where a little bit of a complaint comes in. The coming out of the PC, you know, you can Velcro that and then kind of bring it behind the center of the monitor down the arm. And, you know, as famous Snazzy Q always says, Tech Flex makes it one nice carbon wrap going down. Uh, and it'll just go on down. I. Th- I think she actually built the computer. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I read an it older email. Like an older yeah, email. Um, my bad. But then you just see the cables going down. So and I'm still not a huge fan of that underpiece. Not because of the leg room, but I think it just kind of makes it look a little messy, a little out of place. You know what I mean? Uh, but if if it's comfortable, put your legs around, put your legs on top, and that's good. But I just think it's a little out of place. Um, but I think everything is just it's great. The left side's usable. The right side's usable. Everything is really super super nice. Um, yeah, so wire management hurt her, and then... Oh, and I took a point off for no speakers. 
that was it. So wire management and speakers. That's what hurt her. Tom, how do you feel about this? It's a great setup. I love the contrast with the black. It's not like too much black where it's like it's a red, white, and black setup, but it's like just enough to make it like look really sick and like and the yeah. LEDs and it fits work her and team all that. that she loves. Yeah, and the LEDs like red on red. You think it wouldn't really work, but it works perfectly in the yeah. setup. It's, well, yeah, you're right. It's a lot brighter than I would expect. Yeah, yeah, and it's just well done, you know. And the theme is right there. Personality is right there. It's just like exactly yeah. what you need, basically. It just it's really, really, really yeah really from nice. from before. It's like this was a good setup. Yeah, yeah, great setup. Dope. This is that's 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 a great setup. That's a before and after I love to see. So yeah. amazing work, Pia. Uh, really great stuff. Next setup submitted by Dustin. He's 21. He mainly uses his setup for gaming, watching Netflix and YouTube, and, well, just relaxing. He hates Overwatch with the burning passion. He definitely doesn't have an Overwatch mouse, mouse pad, headphones, poster. No, he hates Overwatch. No, I'm just kidding. He loves Overwatch. Uh, but he also likes eagles. You see that eagle right there? That's a pretty cool eagle. Yeah, That's a cool bad. eagle, dude. And it has the time. It does. Uh, fun fact, it's broken. Uh, one of his douchebag friends broke it, apparently. He messed and up the little he actually, ticker. <laughs> you know what he did? He set the time, though, to his birthday. So I thought that was cool. Oh, that's, you know? that's nice cute. little touch. Nice little touch. And he also said, yeah, I know the dresser to the right side is just absolutely disgusting. Um <laughs> <laughs> God, that is just, that is actually disgusting. But um I mean, look at this. This is this is an interesting setup. He said he he's ready to make changes, but he wants to hear what I have to say first, which is <laughs> everybody, right? It's very kind of him to ask no, your opinion. No. He should be honored I'm even looking at this, <laughs> right? No, really though. Um I think when you when you kind of put yourself in a, in a position where you are a huge fan of Overwatch and you start bringing that through your setup, it's all or nothing at that point. You can't go a little and kind of be like, yeah, I like Overwatch, but I like other stuff too. Like, no, you just signed yourself up for an Overwatch setup. And when the game goes out of style, you're going to have to be that guy that awkwardly goes goes on Craigslist and it's like, I'm selling an Overwatch headset if anybody <laughs> needs one. <laughs> They're like, the hell's Overwatch? No, really, though. I love Overwatch. I think it's a great game. And I think that is a great starting point for your setup. So what you want to do is basically get a flamethrower. Take all the nice stuff out. <laughs> let the house burn down. Start fresh. Get a new desk. Get get a new everything, honestly. You know, the dream catcher is cool, but guess what? Your dreams... You don't have dreams anymore, all right? Get the dream catcher out of here. Eagles, very patriotic and nice, but Overwatch doesn't have an eagle, unless I didn't get the memo. Uh, so I would like to see, honestly, just straight up go for the black and orange, like, setup. Like, bam, I want the chair to match. I want the desk to match. Get some carbon fiber vinyl wrap on top of that shit. I mean, I want to see it. I want to see it bleed through the setup. Do you, do you, uh, Agree, Tom? I mean, yeah, the easiest thing to do is get rid of everything and start fresh, but it that's is. not not really the... Not feasible, the, but I would like to see feasible, it happen. It's not the easiest thing to do. So I'm thinking, like, right now, the desk is fine. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> the desk is fine for what right now. What was that? Um, you think the desk is fine? <laughs> honestly, like... <laughs> this guy. I would just get rid of the... the I would just clean up your dresser before anything. Yeah. And Why even... Can you not angle the photo so we don't see that yeah, shit? Yeah, I'm trying to, like, cut it out, but it just is not... It, you just have to get rid of that stuff yeah, on that's, top. That, that shows you don't deserve the eagle. But, like, really, when you think about it, yeah, you can get a new desk and all that, but the desk right now is working for what you're using it for. It's not like you're... Yes. you're it's, like, over-the-top, like, monitors everywhere and speakers don't fit. You have the sound bar underneath. Then vinyl wrap it. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, vinyl wrap it orange or something like that. Yeah. And get more posters. I would... Move the Dreamcatcher somewhere else, maybe above your bed or something like that, and get more uh, Overwatch posters above. Yeah, well, that's where the dreams happen, you know? That's so, where dreams happen, above your bed. Yeah, don't put it too far away, because otherwise Dreamcatcher's like, yeah. where, oh, where's the dream? Where, where'd it go? Uh, anyways. <laughs> that's yeah. for, like, a more temporary solution. Yeah, if you want to go all out, get a new desk, get a new everything, and yeah. start fresh, just get a new house. But and... you kind of made it seem like he was ready to go, like, Hey, if you're up for that new. and you're saving up, that's a great idea. Yeah, but, but the first step, like Tom said, is you got to clean the dresser. If you have a messy dresser, you're not going to have a good setup easy uh anyways okay boys and girls let's hop into the next set of soda by jonathan jonathan is 30 years old now uh these next three are fast passes and i found this funny because he owns an insurance company called i think vicino insurance and he said check them out for all your insurance needs i think it's like near miami or something like that uh he uses his setup to work from home he dabbles in a bit of photography and he also makes crossfit vi vi 
CrossFit videos on YouTube. If you want to check them out, it's Manly Man Fit. <clears throat> and I checked it out, and uh, I'm going to be really nice to him because I saw him lift heavy weights. <laughs> and uh, He's jacked. <clears throat> I, uh, I, what? He's jacked. Oh, he's jacked. Oh, yeah. he, I mean, and his videos are literally him shooting guns and lifting heavy he's a manly weight. man who's that fit. is it so i'm gonna be really nice to him uh also he plays a lot of cod and madden on his xbox one he doesn't have speakers which i i still took points off for but he said that he prefers to use his logitech g933 uh wirelessly with his xbox his pc and so on uh he also said that he loves the way i roast people on the daily i appreciate it again <laughs> i'm not gonna be too mean to you <laughs> you know you seem like a great guy a really nice guy <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so this setup, this photo, I love it. Just looking at this photo, I, I really do love the, the, the whole room. I love the, like the old style posters, you know, they look awesome, especially framed. I love the desk and it works perfectly for what you're doing. Uh, and I love how you have all the different things like your camera, the drone, the football. It's a lot of personality. Really, really, really nice, which I'm a huge fan of. Now, if we go to the next photo, I do think it's a bit crowded in some spots. Now, not really like, again, nitpicking. It's a great setup. Got a great score. Um, but, you know, you get things like a, uh, a phone stand. You know, you have the pen holder, all that stuff, like some really cool accessories. But uh, unless you really need to be charging batteries all the time, the, the battery charger in front of the keyboard, you know, things like that. I think it's an okay spot for the Xbox. I would like to see it maybe on like a separate piece off to the side yeah. because when you keep your desk nice and like open, it, it just makes the setup look a lot nicer. Uh, same with like the controller and, and the games and stuff in the little slot there. Awesome. Works again, works fine. But I'm saying if you want to take it to the next level, you get like a separate piece that houses all your console related things and it will just make the overall desk look a lot cleaner. And I think a desk that looks as badass as this would, I, I mean, it, need, it needs to be shown, you know? Uh, and I think that is great. Now quickly show the third photo. It is portrait, but um, if you look, the cable management's amazing. You, you just zoom in, you see he actually took time to properly zip tie everything. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. It looks great. It doesn't matter if we see the cables as long as they're managed. Uh, which is something I, I like to say. But, you know, the 360 in the back, I'm not a big fan of that. Most people, if you go back to the photo you were just on and look at oh, the... Yeah. Most people don't realize it's there because it kind of camouflages, which is cool. Um, but, like, that football looks awesome. I think it should be displayed in a better way. Um, and, and just kind of cl cleaning up the desk would look awesome. And, again, I know y you said you're not really too worried about the whole speaker situation. But if you kind of clean up the desk a little, you could add speakers and it it'll be nice. While you're working out, you play some some music through the speakers um but i like it i think really the eyesore is to the left of the desk just kind of like all that stuff chill in there uh maybe if you can move it around but i, I don't think it's bad uh, you know maybe move the superman poster uh, it's really it's an awesome combination of different products really 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 nice uh and i'm a fan tom how do you feel about this setup like you said about the desk, it's a little too cluttered. Like, I mean, all the stuff seems like you use it on a daily basis, but mm -hmm. I'll get something off to the right because it looks like you have a paper shredder. Maybe if you get another tabletop that goes over it so you don't have to move that paper yeah, shredder. you just pull it out. When and you then you can move your Xbox, like Matt said, like move all that stuff over because if you didn't move your Xbox, I would... Oh, shit. <laughs> if you didn't move your Xbox, I would say get rid of the picture of your wife. We don't need it. Just move off the <laughs> side. But yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, if you have the Xbox right there and then you put the, the frame on top, it makes it look way more crowded than it should be. So... Yeah. Yeah, and getting a new little table off to the side or somewhere else in the room where you'd be able, like, to use the Xbox, you know, for yeah. the setup. So, I, I don't know. Yeah. If this is, like, your whole dedicated man cave room, <clears throat> someone just said, like, wool mount speakers. I mean, he's right against the window. It's going to be pretty hard to do to put it in a spot where it's not touching the shelves and so on. If you just did surround sound speakers, in, like, four speakers in each corner yeah. or something like that, and then, like, get a subwoofer off to the side of your desk, holy crap, that'd be awesome. Um, really awesome setup, though. I, I really like it. Um, great job cable matching, all that stuff. Uh, great work, and thank you for supporting the show. Uh, next, setup submitted by Max. He's 20 years old, and he said this is his cramped college dorm setup, which, again, he's limited on space. Now, he says the monitor off to the left is an older one that he uses for simple things like browsing the web and such, uh, but he says that like he likes having it. But uh, you're in a cramped college dorm like you said and i think time a uh, time is of the essence yeah that's it matt i think space is so valuable here 
that that is your main issue. You, you move the monitor, whether you are able to clamp it to the back of the desk on a monitor arm that goes over the top monitor, um, something like that, or you just find a new spot for it because I think that's really killing the setup. And I think the PC should go off to the left side uh, of the desk. By doing so, you can then spread out the uh, speakers. You'll have just an overall better usable amount of space. If you ever need to have papers or anything like that on the desk, you know, for for classes, you'll have room for it. Like where the left monitor is would be a great spot to put, um, you know, all that schoolwork, binders, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> I think that would be ideal. Now, also having the PC there, you know, the headphones are a lot more cramped. Like I said, speakers are cramped. So you just kind of got to give yourself some breathing room. And sometimes that means going down to a single monitor setup. Now, you know, you have the uh, snowball, which is usable. Everything like that is great. It's really, it's not a bad setup. You go to the third photo, cable management's great. You got the Velcro for the LED remote. Um, everything you need going into the blue cable lounge box. Really, uh, for a cable, uh, for a cable, for a college dorm setup, y you did what you got to do. But um, as much as you probably don't want to, if you wanted to get a, a better score and be a great, a great overall um, setup, you, you need to figure out the PC and the left monitor. Now, people are saying, are those flags covering windows? <clears throat> uh, Maybe. Could be. Yeah, the flags could be doing that. But uh, I would like to see the, the blue one next to the red one, you know, kind of like above. You know, I think it would make more sense. No. Um, but hey, it's up to you guys. I just think the left side in the first photo looks kind of like empty, you know? It's like, oh, oh okay. Uh, what do you think, Tom? You, you basically said everything that needed to be said. I would go single monitor or put the monitor above on a clamp or something like that. Yeah, figure um, out maybe in another spot in your room, you run a long HDMI cable and uh, you if use you wanna, it for some. If you want to get really, really fancy, maybe get rid of that drawer. And you'd be able to fit your PC in there because it looks like there would be enough room at that point if yeah. you remove the drawer. And now put, you put your PC there and then you'd be able to use your monitors better with the, the speakers off to the side and all that. But that's that's probably not going to happen. So, yeah, go single monitor. Boom. Bam. Bam. All right. Next and final set of the day submitted by Chris. He's 32 years old and he uses his setup for gaming and watching movies. He said he will be painting the walls and finishing the flooring in the next month. He's just trying to figure out the coloring for it. So... That's good to know, um, because at first glance, I was like, eh, you know, I, I think the wool color is kind of hurting the setup, right? So, um, if you went for like a light, <laughs> Tom knows, we go for a light gray. Oh, the gray. Light gray, though, and this going to look fire. It really, it would look so awesome. Uh, and I don't know what you're doing for the flooring if you're doing carpet. Um, it's got to go black, or not black, uh, like, a, like a good matching color like a darker or something uh, a lot of people are hating on this setup right now uh in the chat guys in the chat let's let's do a community i almost said a community roast it's not about uh community uh what, what's the word critique everybody leave a reason down below why you're not a fan of it first thing i see poster is not framed um people are saying it's very cluttered people are saying the cables aren't good the cables aren't actually bad you're only seeing that one little bit that comes out everything else is mounted to the bottom of the desk uh not a huge fan of the desk itself um people are saying the monitors they're not a fan of the left monitor uh a lot of people saying the poster uh let's see because everyone's quick to say they don't like the setup but we're not seeing why yeah. green lamp i agree with that doesn't match because <clears throat> obviously he's going for black and red right uh Move the TV. Don't put the TV on the desk. Just looks ugly. That's not how you <laughs> critique something. Just looks ugly. Honestly, this is what I would do, right? Uh, yeah, people don't like the calendar. Mainly, I would start over with the walls. Obviously, guys, he's got to take everything down anyway. He's going to be doing uh, some painting. So he's got to kind of pull back. And I think that's a great thing because you'll be able to reset. You know, maybe get a new desk if you're willing. I would think that even just Linmon tabletops, solid pieces of wood with legs will work better because your main issue right now is having that secondary display isn't going to work for the sheer fact that you don't have the room for it. Uh, so you either have to put that above or you have to put that on the left side and use that specifically for something else if you're into like console gaming or something. But the speakers are getting cut off where they're at. Uh, so you, you have to get like a monitor arm for your ultra wide. If you go to the second photo, Tom, you actually look at like see the speakers. Um, that's, you know, it's not ideal. So you need to lift up that main monitor. Uh, you know, just 
overall, like, all the stuff going on, like, out of sight, out of mind, like, you got the USB hub and all that. It's great, but it just looks, like, all cramped in. Uh, so I would definitely like to see that fixed. Headphone stand that's not on the wall, you know, not a mount on the wall. Um, you know, better display the PC. Don't put it so close to the setup itself. I really think it comes down to the desk itself for making it work. And actually, I forgot. There is a third photo yeah. that shows the cable management. So it's really, it's just that huge power brick. He, they're all managed, so that's good. Uh, so nothing wrong with that. Left side, you know, like people said, green lamp doesn't match. Just kind of like fix that up. Condense it. Make it look a little bit nicer. But uh, honestly, you could mount the TV above the ultra wide have it tilted down that would work perfectly it would look really really nice um but yeah that's just what people are saying uh let's see yeah you can mount the usb hub under your desk or something to that extent that works too um gray wall center the off size uh monitor over the ultra wide. move the speakers to the outside and move the pc to the corner Exactly. Just kind of like what I was saying. You know, better display that PC. That's an awesome PC. It looks really dope. And like the, the person said, if you corner it in the corner, obviously, and have the window facing out, boom, done. Amazing. Dom, at least one thing you would change. What is it? People are saying it's really cluttered, but it's, it's really not. It just comes off that way. It just comes off that way because the speakers are blocked. I think that's like a main reason people think it's cluttered, but it's really not. Like, there's only like three things that he take off his desk, but all the things you guys said and all that really works. I mean, I would paint the, you know, paint the walls, you know, get a new carpet and yeah. all that. Had that PC in the corner, do the wall mount of like the TV above the monitor, and it, you fix the speakers. Yeah, yeah. fix the speakers, and honestly, that would be perfect. And then the left sides for you know schoolwork or whatever you're doing like writing or something like that and we say this all the time but that's really all you have to do like you have everything you need you just got to put it in the right spot it's a puzzle you have all the pieces you got to put the puzzle together so now would it be crazy to paint your wall red oh it's like there's because pia did it with her setup and that red is really yeah, nice yeah. red. it can't be like a bright red maybe if you do a contrast a like red wall and a gray wall or something like that, that would be cool Something different, you know. This, I would say this gray. red wall behind the monitors, yeah, and then gray wall for everything else. Yeah, and then gray wall is where you can have a po the poster the framed and all that. Yeah, because then you can do wire mold to make it red. Personally, I just think gray all around will make it like yeah. an easy thing. But it's a good idea. Different, you know. If well, he said he's figure out color, so maybe he's thinking of doing something. Yeah, like bold -tone, like that. Know, yeah. Um, black wall. I'm not a big fan of the black, black wall. Black wall is a no go. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it, it's an interesting setup. I think you can very easily within the next month make it like a, a ten out of ten setup. Uh, I mean, you have everything you need, and yeah. And if you can do that, send in the pictures. I want to love to see how. Yeah, definitely it show us updated that. photos. Um, anyways, all right, let's do it. Score time. We got Nuno with a ninety four, Patrick sixty eight, Josh seventy six, Richard ninety nine, Pia ninety two, Dustin eighty two, Jonathan eighty six, Max seventy eight, and Chris seventy six. So overall, great scores. If you need an explanation, I think it's pretty straightforward. Richard, uh, I only took half a point off because it doubles my score for the printer placement. Pia was just the wire mold, uh, wire mold, wire management, and the uh, no speakers. And yeah, very straightforward setup though. Love everything going on here. Uh, great setups lately. A lot of great support today in the live chat room. If you're not watching live ever, then what are you doing with your life? 12 p.m. Eastern every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, twitch.tv slash swashin. And if you need text reminders, there's a link down below. I think it's like 94033. Text the word live and you'll get uh, updates and stuff. But yeah, very, very interesting episode thanks for watching and we will catch you on the flippity flop i love pulling sperm <laughs>